Okay. <clears throat> choice sir what's the deal with those things those little corner square things they're like yellow squares that have bumps on them that they put on corners of sidewalks oh, they did it all over California and now I'm seeing it come here I thought it was related to like blindness or something. <clears throat> yeah. Maybe they install them first by the schools or something. I don't know. Like installing those on literally every sidewalk corner <laughs> seems excessive, I guess. It's not empowering. Oh, and apparently you install them before any other roads. Like when you're crossing not a, something that's not a driveway. <laughs> that was interesting. <clears throat> it all seems like make work to me. Like. This is what you do instead of something that's actually helpful. Um, I talked to someone. A while back through work who uh, who was in computing in kind of the early days and uh, <clears throat> blind people were a big part of the early days of computing because there was basically no GUIs so everything was terminal based and they could uh, you know whatever mental faculty I suppose would have gone toward uh, <laughs> toward vision or sight they they put towards uh, analytical thinking or logical thinking <clears throat> but apparently there were a lot of blind people that did uh, a lot of computer work and then they started messing around with fonts and changing characters and then GUIs which basically pushed all of them out of, uh, of these systems and Lots of bad stuff happened, uh, you know, people were uh, killing themselves and feeling unuseful, not able to make livings. Uh, that's a uh, side effect of the gooey. But I think, you know, it's a very... Uh, it's a very feminine thing to want to save people from themselves <clears throat> or protect people who uh, should not be protected or should not suffer that level of protection. It's like a uh, it's like a maternal force to want to save someone from themselves or protect them from experiencing the world or uh, experiencing difficulty. I don't know. Some of that is. Petersonian <laughs> I mean or at least for, from wherever he gets it from yeah uh, Nietzsche and, and others but so take it with a grain of salt salt so, because I'm still salty about Peterson <laughs> now I'm just revisiting a lot of that stuff <clears throat> But yeah, but I mean, it's different jobs and different different focuses. Men are not women, and women are not men. And what men provide for children is completely different from what women provide for children. You know, men want to push, especially their boys, uh, to the limit and a little bit beyond. Otherwise, you don't know what your limits are. You never know what your limits are. Only God knows the what your limits are, which is why you can't be like, but God, 
I was over my limit. I couldn't possibly. Like, it was too much. Doesn't work. Yeah, the, the rolls and stuff. We're reading, um, not we, I, our morning Bible study I was in, First Timothy. <clears throat> There's a lot of utility stuff in there. <laughs> and talking about uh, the, the jobs and, jobs? I guess the, the roles of men and of women. <laughs> so, it was relevant to the stuff that's going on right now. I'm seeing more uh, Gen Z traditionalism coming back. Uh, my understanding is in Europe that's that's a bit further along, uh, which makes sense. Uh, societally, I guess Europe has always been a bit ahead, uh, or rather, the U.S. has always been a bit behind. <clears throat> so in in Britain, there's literally police showing up at people's doors over tweets <laughs> and here we're you know the, the people here are, are aspiring to that so <clears throat> we'll all watch very closely now, there are differences of course <laughs> real differences um, the second amendment being a big one of them uh, not even actually at this point <laughs> that that's what's interesting is it's not even the fact that the Second Amendment exists that affects this it's the fact that the guns exist it's the fact that uh, people have these things <clears throat> and it's hard to make them unhave them <laughs> uh, the fact that America was founded on uh, a rather rather aggressive spirit of revolution uh, or uh, anti anti-establishment uh, anti-government that kind of thing that that still is in play I guess but I mean this is what I had to come around to it took a long time well actually it didn't take a long time uh, if you phrase the argument correctly and if you provide good dialectic or good rhetoric, it is very easy <laughs> for me to change my mind. There's lots of stuff, like I, I've been talking about, preconceptions, uh, previously held beliefs that you never never really quite questioned, and then someone comes along and is like, whoops, <laughs> topple that tower, just knock the bottom one out of that Jenga, Jenga tower, and the whole thing falls over, and you're like, oh, well, pardon my French, but... No, it's like, dang. I, I, try, I try not to curse, it's not. I do a pretty good job of not cursing, but like, when like, uh, I was watching that Peterson video and all the clips that I had seen in context were just pulled out and put right next to each other. And then the, the thesis was stated, I was like, poop, but not, not poop, <laughs> and I, I was surprised at myself, but that's, that's how I felt, hey, that was, that was a bitter pill, <clears throat> and I didn't even get to, to hem and haw about it, it was, it was shoved down my throat, because <clears throat> I'm not, I'm not down with cognitive dissonance, yo, um, <laughs> The idea that I—I—I uh, um, I, I enjoy correction. <laughs> I don't like being wrong. So if I am wrong, <laughs> I want to be corrected as quickly as possible. <laughs> I, uh, I guess other people don't want to be wrong, so they pretend that they're not wrong, but. Reality's bill always comes due with interest. So the faster you change it, the better off you are, no matter how hard it is to change it. Uh, <clears throat> what was I talking about? Just the the Peterson, oh, the, yeah, the, the bitter pill. Uh, that was like the like the abortion thing. 
like I watched I think it was a 30 minute video I watched a 30 minute video and I had that moment where I was like poop I'm wrong I'm horribly wrong and you've just in, in like 30 minutes convinced me although it was probably like 23 minutes <laughs> like uh, you've logically proven me precisely wrong and I agree with your logic uh, let's see if I run out of battery here um, it's hard but the only thing harder than that is to deny reality and we're charging <sighs> so deal with reality um, let's see what was I talking about before that this uh this kind of resurgence of traditionalism which is pretty neat I guess uh, I from a very you know when I was just getting into this whole uh, into the Bible and into the, the church of the Bible not uh, Catholicism or any particular ism although it is technically uh, it's an apostolic faith it's just like the Bible like no, no one gets to come in no preacher or minister gets to come in and go oh well actually this is the case ignore what the Bible says there like then you get to say well we get to ignore you <laughs> you know to have that one uh, unifying document um, to have that as a reference as a, as a center as a core you know you don't have a pope swapping out that's like bruh Jesus was an immigrant yo <laughs> no what are you even talking about sir <laughs> Ugh. yeah so just you know miss me with that pope stuff poop uh <laughs> So there's, there's a lot of traditionalism coming back and uh, oh right so when I, when I first started getting into this I was like you know I, I had a hard time uh, I had a hard time understanding these rules being a, a libertarian and I'm like oh I should be able to do whatever I want my rights my guns my property um, but that's antithetical to to Christianity, the idea that you're 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 fallen in nature, and that uh, someone, um, you know, Jesus purchased your sins. Jesus purchased your soul and your your life uh, at great cost to Himself. Um, uh, what is it? Know ye not ye are bought at a heavy price? Uh, you know, you're not your own, is what the Bible says. You owe someone else you owe God uh, for his sacrifice and and for the creation that is all around us um, <clears throat> so if you start from that position you can get everywhere you need to get however if you don't start from that position you can't get anywhere so having not started from that position I was like but what if all these these rules and stuff are just like, you know, technical technical manuals? It's a, it's a best practice, best practice for civilization. Don't do this. Do do that. You know. If you do these things, your civilization will work quite well. And if you don't, uh, it won't. And it might not happen immediately, but it will happen. So, the yeah, the concept of all this uh, free love and promiscuity and uh, <clears throat> self self worship and self uh, self esteem is is antithetical to all that stuff and, and now we get to see the wages of this uh, we get to see the, the payment for these, these actions and these activities and at least in the US and, uh, and in Britain and most of the western world for that matter actually only the Western world uh, Vox Day makes a really uh, 
I don't know what the word is, uh, a sobering point that the the Eastern Bloc countries uh, that were that wound up being satellites of communism wound up, or rather, I, it's technically socialism, the, the USSR, Soviet uh, Soviet satellites, they suffered less um, economically. You know, they're not in mountains of debt, and they've suffered less socially. You know, they're still more traditional. They're still um, uh, more based in what their their belief system is, rather than most of the Western world, where we're just like basking in nihilism. So what uh, Vox is extremely uh, hurtful, damaging, damning point was that communism is uh, communism is less damaging to a society or to a country than free markets are and free market was kind of a, an all-encompassing concept of, uh, of the Western world and that's really really <laughs> gives you gets gets your noggin jogging gives you the big think uh, activates your almonds rustles your jimmies all that good stuff it's uh pretty incredible not literally of course it is technically credible <laughs> what was this even about uh have a good day was that just silent?